Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the PowerPug V4 launch. Um, this video is just a basic construction video um, to show you how to attach the puck to your tracker and also explain the different modes that the new puck does. So we'll just go through um, the installation first. It's the same for 1.0s, 2.0s, and 3.0 trackers. You align the contacts on the bottom of the tracker with these and this pin with this hole. You just kind of generally line it up, take a screwdriver, stick it through the brass on the bottom of the puck, and just tighten it down. Give it a little wiggle as you do. That way the holes line up and just snug it up. You don't need to, you don't need to send it home. Now, the first big new feature of this, outside of it being a little bit smaller now, um, and new finishing curved edges. Yes, the number one requested thing was curved edges here on the bottom. The next big feature is pass-through charging. So if you are just charging your puck, you don't need to charge your tracker. You don't basically never need to plug in your tracker anymore. You plug in the puck, you'll see a boot up sequence here. You'll see it flashing, indicating that how many batteries or how many bar is left on the battery. Um, these new pucks have four battery indicating LEDs. So you, you know, basically 25% of each stage of the battery. Um, right now, this one has, you can see it's blinking on and off just one LED, meaning it's only like 20% that like needing charged. But you notice the tracker lights on. So now when you plug in the puck, it'll pass through charge to the tracker automatically. That is a standard feature that works no matter what. You can unplug it. You can see it stopped charging immediately. It cut it off. You plug it in. The puck boots up and it starts charging immediately again. So this will charge all of your trackers passively at the same time as charging the puck. Um, that's a whole new feature. That's something um, the old pucks did, but that was actually a hardware glitch. It wasn't supposed to do that. But this is actually like a flushed out working feature now. So that's a really nice change. Outside of that, um, when we turn on the puck now, it takes it a second. Puck's now turned on. You can see it's charging this. The LEDs on the puck actually turn on and stay on now, and they will tick down with how much battery you have left as well now. So they, there's always a battery indicator that's fully operational and working with the pucks now instead of it only being when it's charging. So that's a new feature there. Um, outside of that, we um, have a few other announcements to make about these, but they are not gonna be um, readily, um, those features are not gonna be ready till probably Q3 this year, but they're not gonna be super huge. Um, outside of that, if you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section here on YouTube. Feel free to join the community Discord, which is linked in the bio. Um, also, feel free to um, follow us on Blue Sky and uh, Twitter. Um, I do do a lot of announcements, a lot of behind the scene photos and stuff like that. And I might be posting here on the YouTube channel to show the full process of how um, we're now in this generation going from a blank circuit board here in house, fully populated, to fully assembled puck within a day. It's uh, pretty crazy what uh, we've been cooking up uh, on the back end to make these and make them more reliable and you know have control completely over our own stuff. So feel free to follow us and stuff, and um, I'll see you in the next update video.